Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to show you Winscribe's time-based workflows. In this example we've set the threshold to be one minute or so, uh, but in your case you could set it to whatever you like. Let's get a job in the system and you'll watch it move from the general type of queue to the document production center queue and then we'll pull the curtain back and show you how that's done. Dear counselors, call in a paragraph. In close, please find a stipulation of discontinuance for my client, comma, Acme Corporation, comma, whom you will note was not on the premises until 2017 period. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please contact the undersigned period. Thank you. Go ahead and hit send. Off that goes. Now the job has arrived in the general type of queue. It's job number 1684 and it's due by 2 p.m. When this job gets to around 2.01 p.m. it'll turn yellow then red and then automatically move to the document production center queue as shown on the right hand side of your screen. Let's watch. There you can see it has turned red indicating that it is now overdue. And when the clock reads 201 on the right hand side here, you should see it move from the general type of queue to the document production queue. And there it is. By using the Winscribe Web Manager, we can drill down into that job and view the job history to see exactly what has happened to it. The job was created, the job was completed. It was marked ready for typing, and then it was rerouted from group 5 to group 10 by alarm number 2. If we come up here to our alarms, we can see that it triggered on job 1684 and rerouted it to the overflow group. Thank you for watching.